Hi, I'm Ellen and I study medicine here at Cardiff University. Today I'm going to take you on a tour of Cate's Park campus, which is our main location at the heart of the city centre. This is the university's iconic main building on Park Place. Grade 2 listed, it is home to the School of Chemistry, the School of Earth and Environmental Sciences and the Medicine Discovery Institute, which is part of the School of Biosciences. This stunning building has a number of undergraduate teaching laboratories, several lecture theatres and the Science Library inside. Our students here study alongside world-class researchers such as the Cardiff Catalysis Institute and the Paleoclimate Systems Facility, which are also housed here. Opposite main building are the beautiful Alexandra Gardens. These memorial gardens are the central point of Cardiff Civic Centre, with the National Museum of Wales, Cardiff City Hall, Cardiff Crown Court and the Welsh Government headquarters close by. But if you've got a little longer, why not head over to Butte Park? With woodlands, open fields, gardens and the River Taff, it's Cardiff's largest open green space. On the other side of Alexandra Gardens, King Edward VII Avenue hosts three university buildings, each with their own impressive architectural style. You may also recognise parts of these buildings as they have served as filming locations for many popular TV programmes, including Doctor Who and his dark materials. First up is the Glamorgan Building, a Grade 1 listed former county hall. Behind its classical sculptures, you will find the School of Social Sciences and of Geography and Planning. Inside, there is an impressive circular council chamber, committee rooms, seminar rooms and lecture theatres. Next door to Glamorgan, you will find the Butte Building. Currently undergoing a multi-million pound investment programme to upgrade facilities, Butte is another one of our Grade 2 listed buildings. It is home to the Welsh School of Architecture, which is one of the top architecture schools in the UK. Inside, you will find the Architecture Library and various facilities, including the Digital Fabrication Labs. Further along the road, we have the Redwood Building, home to the School of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences, which has been training pharmacists for over 100 years. Inside, you will find six state-of-the-art consultation rooms, newly refurbished labs, and world-leading research initiatives, such as the Pharma Bees Project. Around the corner from the Redwood Building, behind this impressive sculpture by famed artist Dame Bob Hepworth, you will find the School of Music. Inside, there is a 250-seat concert hall, ensemble rooms, and several electric acoustic studios. Here, we have the Arts and Social Studies Library, which is the largest library at Cardiff University and is home to the university's archives and special collections. We have several libraries across our two campuses with over 1.1 million books and access to over 1.5 million online books, journals and resources. The John Percival Building contains the School of History, Archaeology and Religion, the School of English, Communication and Philosophy and the School of Welsh as well as seminar rooms and lecture theatres. If you're studying archaeology and conservation subjects, you'll be offered lab facilities which offer you a hands-on practical experience. There's also a really popular ground floor cafe. The next few buildings form Cardiff Business School, our biggest academic school. The Abercombe building is the heart of the school with its own dedicated library. It also contains an undergraduate hub, the Opportunity Zone, a placements manager and the careers and study abroad staff. Next door is the Julian Hodge building, which has one of the biggest lecture theatres, a large computer suite and a refectory for students to relax in in between their lectures. Finally, in the postgraduate teaching centre, there is the largest mock training floor in Wales, which gives both postgraduate and undergraduate students the opportunity to experience what life is like on the stock exchange. Across from the business school, you will find the School of Optometry and Vision Sciences. It's a purpose-built teaching and research facility with its own eye clinic. This is open to the public and provides world patients for our students to practice on. Further along, we have our innovation campus. This includes the Hayden Ellis Building, an internationally renowned research hub, which brings together experts in neuroscience, cancer stem cell research and Alzheimer's disease for the first time. Next door, Shebrick, the Cardiff University Brain Research Imaging Centre is one of Europe's flagship facilities for brain imaging research. Heading back to the central part of Cate's Park campus, we have the School of Law and Politics. The school's pro bono unit gives students the opportunity to gain experience and work with members of the community by providing pre-legal assistance. 
students working in one of these projects, the Cardiff University Innocence Project, has helped to overturn two convictions at the Court of Appeal. The Tower Building is home to the School of Psychology, one of the largest centres for psychology in the UK. Highly regarded for the quality of its research, the school's undergraduate degrees are fully accredited by the British Psychological Society. Across the road from the Tower Building is the School of Modern Languages, which offers teaching expertise in a wide range of languages and translation studies. The school has close links with top universities across Europe and further afield, which provides students the opportunity to study a year abroad. The University's Languages for All programme offers Cardiff students from any course the opportunity to learn a new language or improve an existing one for free alongside their studies. Our Global Opportunities programme also provides the opportunity for students to study, work or volunteer abroad as part of their degree. Named after its Nobel Prize winning former director, the Sir Martin Evans Building is the main home of the School of Biosciences. In recent years, it has been upgraded with extensive refurbishment of lab space and investment with state-of-the-art equipment. Medical and dental students also receive some of their initial training here as the building houses the Wales Centre for Anatomical Education and our dissection rooms, which are the largest in Wales. Our brand new Centre for Student Life is nearing completion just behind the main building. It will host a range of new facilities, including social study, quiet contemplation spaces and a 550-seat auditorium. It will be home to the student support services and will enhance the way that we support students. It will also provide the perfect link between the university and the students' union. Cardiff University's Student Union is repeatedly ranked as one of the best student unions in the UK. It boasts amazing facilities, including a nightclub and a 1600 capacity concert venue. It's a great place to study and socialise, and it's run by students for students. It offers loads of services, including job shop, which helps students to find part-time work alongside their studies, and Cardiff Student Lettings, which support students in finding private accommodations owned by reputable landlords without agency fees. To the right of the Union Building is a fitness and conditioning centre. With facilities spread over three floors, the fitness suite offers a wide range of strength, conditioning and resistance based equipment, as well as recently upgraded cardiovascular machines with TV, radio and free Wi-Fi. Right next to the fitness centre and contained train station, Abacus is the new home for the School of Mathematics and the School of Computer Science and Informatics. Unique features include makerspace and IT workshops and a new simulated trading room for financial mathematics. Situated a short distance away, we have the Trevivic in Queen's Buildings, which hosts three academic schools, the School of Engineering, the School of Physics and Astronomy, and until the transition to Abacus is complete, the School of Computer Science and Informatics. The site hosts a range of teaching facilities, sophisticated computer laboratories, including specialist cybersecurity labs, a dedicated library, a student common room, and a large cafeteria. The National Software Academy, which is part of the School of Computer Science and Informatics, is located a 15 minute train ride away in nearby Newport. The School of Journalism, Media and Culture is situated in the recently completed Central Square development in the city centre, opposite Cardiff Central train station. The school is right next door to BBC Cymru Wales, which further enhances its already strong links with the media and creative industries. Teaching facilities include TV and radio studios, newsrooms and editing suites. And here we are back at Main Building. I hope you've enjoyed the look around Cate's Park campus. You can find out more about our campuses and student life in Cardiff on the university's website. Thanks for joining me and we hope to see you again in the future.